Here is an example to check the symmetry of the polynomial. Well, the function given to us is f of x equals 2 x to the power of 5 times x minus 2 whole square times x plus 2 whole square. Now, the degree of this polynomial is how much? Let's figure it out. So, we have degree of 5 plus 2 plus 2. That is the degree. We have to add them up, right? Degree is 9. So, we know degree is odd for us, right? So, there is a possibility that this function could have odd symmetry, right? It is not must, right? So, it is possible to have odd symmetry, right? Now, how do we test for it? What does it mean that it might have odd symmetry? It really means that we have to find the value of f of minus x and if we get that equal to minus of fx, then it is odd, right? Odd symmetry, I should say. So let's test whether the function has odd symmetry or not. So let's find what is f of minus x. We'll have f of minus x is equals to replace all x with minus x. That is what it means to find f of minus x. So we have minus x to the power of 5 and then replace x with minus x. We get minus x minus 2 squared and then we have minus x plus 2 square. Now, uh, minus x to the power of 5 is minus of x to the power of 5. Now, in this case, uh, what will happen? So, what we will do here is, we can write it like this. We can take minus outside and then write this function as x plus 2. Is it okay? If I factor out minus, it becomes x plus 2 whole square times, again, I'll take minus factor minus out and I get x minus 2 within bracket whole square. Now square of negative 1 is positive. So therefore I can write this as x to the power of 5 and since this is positive I can write this as x plus 2 right whole square and this is positive so we're left with x minus 2 whole square. We can write this as x minus 2 whole square. Now we can rearrange it, right? So we have minus x to the power of 5 times, I'm writing this first, x minus 2 times whole square times x plus 2 whole square. As you can see, x to the power of 5, x minus 2 whole square, x plus 2 whole square with a negative sign. So f of minus x is indeed equals to minus of fx. Now since f of minus x is equals to minus of f of x, we say it is it has odd symmetry, right? So that is how we can show that the function has odd symmetry. Odd symmetry really means that it is symmetric about origin, right? So that means that means it is let me write down here. It means it is symmetric about origin, about a point, and that point is origin. So the function has odd symmetry. Now it's kind of important to note that since these two factors were x minus 2 and x plus 2, we got the odd symmetry. But otherwise, we would not have got odd symmetry. If these numbers would have been different, this was not having an odd symmetry, right? So that made it possible for odd symmetry in this case. Okay, so that is a good observation to make. I hope that's clear. So we'll do a couple of more examples to test whether a function is having odd symmetry or even symmetry or neither of the two. Thank you.